We're at uh, Torsen Williamsburg right now, kind of the corner of Nassau and uh, Manhattan. Uh, definitely one of the best beer bars in New York City. Uh, I'm Joey Pepper. I'm one of the bartenders as well as uh, kind of beer hosts, beer buyers, and we are all about beer. So we do not serve wine or any liquor. The owners really felt strongly that they wanted to just serve beer and cider uh, to express the diversity of beer and how much actual flavors exist within uh, beer itself. What we're trying to do uh, with the beer is get a wide range of styles. So we're definitely pouring some nice lagers, IPAs, pails, as well as some saisons, which are super approachable. I um, usually dedicate one cider line, as well as a few Belgian sours, and then on the end of the draft list is gonna be bigger imperial stouts, old ales, barley wines, and things of that nature. The IPAs, I would say, have been the most popular style, um, just because it was very American. Um, it was something that we kind of took, you know, from England and made it less malty, but definitely a bitter style. Um, and not everyone's into that, and it's totally understandable. We want to provide those, but definitely provide some interesting stuff that maybe people would hesitate at buying in a store, uh, but they can come in here and at least try five ounces of it. Um, but, you know, we'll pour that Italian sour done with plums that might be, you know, a $23 or $30 bottle in the store. We have five, eight, and 14, essentially bottom, middle, top of the design. So we got uh, four pours of probably what I think is the best or the most interesting on tap right now. First thing I poured was a Pilsner from Rothaus in Germany. I'm using all the water from there as well as just clean German Pilsner malt, Hallertau, and Tettnang hops. So super, super classical as far as that goes. It is a spectacular Pilsner. I have seriously never had a better Pilsner than this. And the next thing I poured is a collaboration between Other Half and Trillium. Trillium is a fantastic brewery up in Boston doing some really, really amazing American IPAs um, and teamed up with these guys in other half down in Gowadens and Carroll Gardens uh, and came together to do this collaboration called Street Green and just a really nice example of the hazy American IPA. Juicy, bitter, but not overly bitter to caramel, which was kind of the style maybe five to 10 years ago. Uh, the next thing I poured is Abbey de Saint Bon Chien from BFM in uh, Switzerland. This is an 11.5% essentially imperial sour red ale is the best way to describe it. A little dry, not as sweet as maybe an Aude Brune, but nearly double the percentage now called. It's a really nice style to pour someone that's into wine, specifically red wine, maybe something that they can connect with as far as the flavor goes. The last thing I poured is from Evil Twin. Uh, this is En Mas Chili Jesus, a uh, Spanish brewed version of the Even More Jesus. Um, one of Yepa's best beers, in my opinion, 12% uh, imperial stout that he designed. I and mean, this was brewed at Nomada in Spain, hence the En Mas Jesus. And they did a chili treatment. Chili's really subtle, so you kind of just get it on the back of the throat after you finish drinking it. It's a little tough on the weekends just because it is busier and we can't sit down with everyone and provide the most unique experience possible. So I say coming during the day is definitely a little bit more relaxed and you can really have you know an experience with your bartender and learn a little bit more about beer. On the nights, it's great just because you know you have people coming in that are not beer people usually, but it's like, hey, I heard they got cool shit. Let's go check them out and we'll try some new stuff. <laughs>